Welcome to Country Kitchen. Uh, all you folks here in the studio, thank you for coming. Uh, I am really so delighted to introduce my guest today because I am a genuine fan of this man because he is really, you know he has a great voice, but he is a poet. And I want you to please help me welcome Mr. Larry Gatlin. Thank you. Thanks, kid. Larry, you know, when I first became aware of you, I think it was about 14 years ago, and we were in Las Vegas, and we were at a party, and I remember you started singing, and when you sang Penny Annie, I mean, I just, I wept. I was so moved by that song, and I, I knew that you were going to be a gigantic star. You and have an excellent memory. Thank you. Yes, I do. You remember that, do you? Oh, extremely well, and, and that song, um, I think because uh, it made me think so much of my own childhood. I think, you know, we grow up in this this business and we also you started when you were what six? Oh yeah about this tall and you've been working ever since this april uh when is this going to show or is it april now oh no it's not april now it's it could be april, april could be may could we be 1987 we okay, don't know okay if it's 1987 <laughs> then, if it's 1987 then last april uh was 20 uh, 31 years that Stephen rudy and i've been singing together you know and people years. don't realize uh i don't think they realize because you make it look so easy all the pressure that goes into all those years of work well there's uh there's some there, but you know, uh, yesterday's gone and tomorrow isn't here. So I've got to take care of today. I've got to take care of uh, tortilla soup. <laughs> I've got to take care of jambalaya. Jambalaya. <laughs> just what's in front of me. And you know, I think a lot of times we entertainers, uh, you know, we get a, we're a little pampered anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, my father had a lot of pressure on him too. He's trying to feed four kids that working seven days a week, eight hours a day. So. You know, it's I'm okay. I'm so happy to hear you say that. Not poor me. Bless you. No, it ain't poor well, me. Well, we're going to take care of the moment right now. We're going to come back in a second, and Larry's going to make tortilla soup yeah. for you. Hello, I'm Orville Redenbacher. Took me 40 years to discover the real secret to great popcorn. It's my special kernel. Pops up lighter and fluffier. So when other microwave popcorns say they have the secret, I say let's compare them to my gourmet microwave popping corn. With my special kernels, you get more popcorn than with other national brands. I got their secret. What's that? Theirs just doesn't measure up to yours. <laughs> <laughs> Orville Redenbacher, the first and last name in popcorn. If there's anything you'd like to ask Roy Rogers and Dale Evans, here's your chance. Just send your question to Happy Trails Theater, the Nashville Network, 2806 Opryland Drive, Nashville, Tennessee. Be sure to include your name and address so Roy and Dale can send you an autographed photo. If they select your question to answer on the show, you'll also receive a pair of TNN boot mugs. Your questions must arrive by Tuesday, July 15th, so write us now. We are now going to begin Larry Gatlin's tortilla soup. Take it away, Larry. Okay, it's, I gotta tell you, it's not really my, my recipe. Where'd you get it? Okay, my, uh, my brothers... Steve, Steve and Rudy, Steve, remember? Brothers, Steve. I remember them, I remember yeah. them. Steve, <laughs> Steve is, uh, is Steve's mother-in-law. Yeah. It has to be Steve, because Rudy doesn't have a mother-in-law. Rudy's not married. Right. He practices a lot, but he's not married. <laughs> Brother Steve's wa uh, wife's name is Cynthia Guerra, her uh, uh, maiden name. Anna Guerra, his mother-in-law, makes this. She's the, one of the great cooks. I mean, she takes the mocajete and grinds well, the garlic. Come on, I'm getting okay. hungry. Okay, so this is Mama Guerra. First of all, we cook the chicken, okay? Act like, like we cooked the chicken in here. <laughs> the chicken's good. No, okay, got the chicken cooked, okay? Now, I cook the whole chicken in water with onion and garlic. And you can throw in some bouillon cubes if you want to, because that kind of, okay. Cut the chicken into your basic, what you call your bite-sized pieces. Looks like you took the uh, skin off, too. Did you? That didn't say that on the card, but I'm sure we did. <laughs> did we skin this chicken before we can? Yes, we did. Yeah. We sure did. Okay, let's hear it for the chicken. <laughs> okay. Now, cut it into bite-sized pieces. This is a bite-size if you're Miss Piggy. Right. If you're a regular eater, this is bite-size. Anyway, whatever. So we've got that done. Uh, save the broth. We kind of put that over the side. Now, in a skillet, what we're going to do, first of all, is deep-fry some tortillas. Okay? Ready. It is not tortillas. <laughs> we ain't having tortillas. These are tortillas. Are you, are you using corn or flour tortillas? These are corn tortillas okay. because they fry crisper. Okay. Now, here's what you do. Take three or four of them. Get your uh, pinking shears out of your, uh, what you call your... Uh, 
sewing, sewing basket. Sewing, yeah, yeah. yeah sewing out basket. of Steve and Rudy's Steve sewing and Rudy, basket. Steve and Rudy, yes, they, they do a lot of sewing. <laughs> and you just cut them in about, oh, I say, about half inch, something like that, okay? Uh -huh. Strips. Isn't that? Like so. Why not hold these okay. for you? Don't cut my finger. I'll try. <laughs> Don't stick it over here, girl. I won't, I promise. Okay, now, that's kind of enough to get started. Okay. Maybe. Okay, and you put these little hummers into you, what you call your oil. Oh. Voila! <laughs> oh. Boy, I mean, they are... They're hot. They huh? are boogieing. It will not take long. Take so, it down. now... A couple notches? Yeah, it might take it down a little bit. We take, uh, pour off the oil, which... We'll, take, we'll pretend we did we'll that. Pretend. That's pretty hot, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Now, what we, I think those are probably... Just get them How real good. How long does it take? Just a few uh, seconds, not, obviously. Not long. If you got the mm -hmm. fire that hot. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is turn those off. Okay. Turn that off. Okay? Put okay. them over here. off. Into a, like a napkin thing. And that drains the... Uh, the oil off. Mm -hmm. The Wesson the oil. The Wesson. The Wesson Thank oil Thank you. Off. Yes. Thank you, Larry. Pure, uh, unadulterated, polyunsaturated, uh, you basically... All natural, all new. Yes, petroleum mm -hmm. oil. It is. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> yes. Okay, now, do you get that? Not too fast they for you. They look good. They are, in I'm fact, proud you need of to, you. You need to cook a lot of them because you're going to be doing this You know, all. that is my one weakness. It's hot. Tortilla chips. Ah! And really hot. <laughs> yeah. Don't eat them right out of the pan, folks. Next, you're going to the emergency room. No. <laughs> Next, we're going to brown... Some bell pepper, onion, oh. some garlic. Okay, oh. here we go. Shall I hand it to you? Go right here. Here comes the bell pepper. Bell pepper. A lot of vitamin C there. Okay. Is that hot enough for yep. you? Yep, that's doing good. Okay. We're going to brown that. Onions. <clears throat> Ladies, newlyweds, this is not a good dish to make on your honeymoon night. <laughs> I just thought I'd throw that in because these things... If you're making this on your honeymoon night, you're in a lot of trouble. If the marriage lasts, <laughs> if it lasts through the honeymoon, you got a heck of a marriage going if it lasts through honeymoon. Paul Land on Hollywood Squares. I used to do Hollywood Squares and one time. Somebody asked him a question. Two things you should never do on your honeymoon night. He went, point and laugh. That's true. <laughs> I don't think that would be good at all. <laughs> or make tortillas. Soup. He was so silly. I loved him. He, yeah, bless What a dear himself. man. What a dear man. Yeah. Okay, what okay we we're that? browning. We're okay. browning. Now. I'm going to turn garlic. off your oven just a little. Okay, okay, okay. Garlic. Oven coming up. We got garlic. Definitely uh, don't do this. It says two or three cloves. Of, I mean, you, you kind of have to do that to taste. I happen to love garlic. Garlic. So we're going to put a smidgen and a half. Okay. Smidgen. Then we put, uh, boy, that smells good. You can't mess up onions and bell pepper. It's impossible. I, Cumin I, seed. I just spit that's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't to, do, don't put that in your soup. No, 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 no Lord, no. Part of it. Use tortillas we don't use. Okay, this is cumin seed or cumin powder that's from cumin. This is the thing that gives most Mexican food that very distinctive... You know, Johnny Rodriguez told me that when he uh, first came here, mm -hmm. he was looking everywhere for a cumina, I think. It's and, camino, he's sure. And he said he couldn't find it anywhere. And he's asking around and somebody finally told him to ask for, for cumin. cumin. He said, sure. oh, cumin. Yeah, that's all yeah. it is. And this is uh, chili powder. And you kind of have to do this according to whether to you taste. want to, yeah, fire, uh -huh. you know, three alarm or two <laughs> alarm. Or. The smoke comes out of it. Yeah. So now we do all that mm -hmm. and you brown this, okay? Why am I screaming? <laughs> because the people over there, I forget I have a microphone on. I'm you a performer. Do. I should know that. You should, but yeah. that's what makes you so innocent and sweet. That's true. Innocent and, now, and sweet, I really am. <clears throat> <laughs> salt to taste. I don't, I'm not a big salt no, eater, so no, we just kind of... A little bit. Yeah. They can always yeah. add some if they yeah. want it. I can't wait till we get to these. I love Tomatoes. These Aren't they wonderful? Yeah. Hold your chickpeas. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you can always tell who grew up on a farm. That's there true. There is absolutely never any doubt. Tomatoes. Yeah. Oh, oh. Can they Ken, see this? Ken, look, look, look. Isn't that pretty? Uh-huh. I would like several 8 by 10s of that. If you don't love this, <laughs> you're a communist. <laughs> I guess that's hard to say that, isn't it? Oh, sure. Well, they know you're just being funny. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody chuckles, Flo. <laughs> They're chuckling now, though. Mm. Okay, now we have chickpeas. our... Chickpeas, throw them in there. Uh, can I? Yeah. I love, you know that these garbanzo beans, they call them, or chickpeas, have so much protein in them, and they're really good for you. You ready? Okay. Here they go. Oh. <laughs> you saw it here for... Let's hear it. I emptied the can. Come on, folks. Okay. My little chickadee with the chickpeas. You right. did good. 
Okay, so we're gonna let that kind of, you know, kind of... Simmer. Now, add this to the broth and the chicken pieces, right? We're about to have soup. Soup is about to be oh, soup. Oh, you're gonna add all that to Ain't the broth. Ain't we? Huh? <laughs> uh, okay. Now, uh, you kind of need to... Just, you can use don't, your fingers if it's easier. You can. Well, mm -hmm. what, don't get it on your uh, pink uh, That's okay. little jacket there. It'll clean up. All right. Your bite-sized chicken. All right. Got that. <coughs> now, put all well, this goo-goo in there. Oh, oh, oh good luck. <laughs> that is going to be a big pot of soup. How many will, <gasps> how many will this feed? Uh, 246. <laughs> 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 no. I believe it. Right. It's, it's according to how hungry they are, I guess. That's the appropriate oh, answer. I have no great. idea. How much will this feed, you reckon? Quick. Lord. Perfect. Now, you might have to add a little more chicken broth to this if, if it's not enough. There ain't no water in my soup. You ain't gonna add no soup. No? Ain't gonna add water. No, sir. Don't thin it down. I don't know. But maybe a little more chicken broth. Yeah, that is pretty. You know, that looks almost like my mother's old-fashioned vegetable soup. It really does. Now, what are we gonna do with the tortilla chips? Well, just hold your horses. <laughs> okay, here's how we're gonna do this. When we get this all done, I need a bowl. A bowl? A, a clean a bowl. A soup bowl. Uh, well, you know what? Just take this with the onions. Okay. We have to make do sometimes. Hmm? Here's what you do. Watch this. Oh. oh. Did you catch it? Yeah. Here, do it into my microphone. Okay. Crumble, <laughs> crumble, crumble. Crumble, crumble, crumble. Now that goes uh, obviously under the soup, right? Is that then, I, can't, I wish you could smell. I wish we had smell-o-vision. Yeah. This, <laughs> this is good. I'm telling you, this is so good, if you put a bowl of it on your forehead, your tongue would laugh your brains out trying to get to it. <laughs> well, while he's dishing up a bowl of soup, uh, I'm going to recap this recipe for you because it, it's wonderful. It, it, it's fantastic. It smells great. And here we go. You cook your chicken in water with onion, garlic, bouillon, and cubes. Oh, bouillon cubes. You cut into bite-sized pieces, reserve the broth. I mean, save your broth, and you deep fry your tortilla chips. Then you reserve three or four. What does that mean? You make a reservation for your, for your oil. Okay, for three, three or four tablespoons of oil, brown your bell pepper, onion, and garlic cloves, add tomatoes, beans, chili powder, cumin, salt to taste. You add to broth and chicken pieces. If necessary, add one or two cans of chicken broth if you have to. Simmer until hot, about eight to ten minutes, and you serve with your tortilla chips, and you have got Larry's Tortilla, tortilla Soup. soup. Hey! And just, yeah. We'll be back in just a minute with those sweet guys, Jim and John Hager, to make their dessert for you. So come on back. Hello, I'm Orville Redenbacher. Took me 40 years to discover the real secret to great popcorn. It's my special kernel. Pops up lighter and fluffier. So when other microwave popcorns say they have the secret, I say let's compare them to my gourmet microwave popping corn. With my special kernels, you get more popcorn than with other national brands. I got their secret. What's that? Theirs just doesn't measure up to yours. <laughs> <laughs> Orville Redenbacher, the first and last name in popcorn. Sonny, this is tough. Granny, this is tougher. Sunlight, it cuts tough, baked-on, caked-on food, even grease. Ooh, thanks a lot, Sonny. Sunlight with lemon juice, it cuts the tough stuff loose. Want to know three great reasons to choose Wesson? Wesson vegetable, corn, and sunflower oil. Three all-natural ways to fry right. My fried chicken's got to be crispy and juicy, and my oil's got to be Wesson vegetable oil. What could be better, good food and the goodness of corn oil? Wesson corn oil. Eating light is right. And today's light dishes taste great with Wesson sunflower oil. Wesson vegetable, corn, and sunflower oil. With every bite, you know you're frying right. Hunts asked me how much I could squeeze into one commercial. Here goes. Hunts All Natural Barbecue Sauce has this new squeezable plastic bottle. So when you squeeze America's best-tasting barbecue sauce on chicken or ribs or burgers, you don't waste a drop. There, I showed how good it tastes. I showed how squeezable it is. I forget anything. <laughs> it's shatterproof, right? Right. Hunt's all-natural barbecue sauce in a new plastic bottle. The competition's as good as you can get, and you get it all. When the award-winning American Sports Cavalcade takes you to some of the toughest, most exciting and unusual sports events in the country. Sundays on TNN, the Nashville Network.
The stars and staff of Country Kitchen stay at Nashville's fabulous new Sheraton Music City Hotel, just two miles from the airport and minutes from Opryland, USA. For reservations, call us direct at 615-885-2200. Welcome back. I told you before, I think the, my most favorite song that Larry's written is Penny Annie. I just want to read you this first verse because when I first heard it, I cried. I think maybe because I thought about myself, but it says, Ragtag little girl with big blue eyes and yellow hair, barely standing three feet above the ground, dancing her, for a handout at the Crockett County Fair, which I said Spencer County Fair. She casts a spell on everyone around. Now, I hear you're going to do a movie about Penny Annie. I'm actively engaged right now in a project. I have a screenplay written. I have uh, some people who want to be in it and who want to direct it. If we can raise a little money, we're going to do it. Uh, it's been on my mind and my heart for the last 13 years since the day I wrote the song. So, God willing, the creek don't rise. We're going to make a movie. I'm going to be a movie star. Uh, let me know when you do it. I'll be there opening night. Okay. okay. Thank you. Well, I'm going to um, introduce you now to my buddies. And, uh, well, they're movie stars. They're TV stars. They're, they're stars in my eyes, okay? Mm -hmm. Here they are, Jim and John Hager with their new and tonight I'm gonna see my cherry meal. Pick a talk, your fruit jar, and be gay. We'll serve a gun, we'll have big fun on the bio. Goodbye, Joe, we gotta go, me oh my own. We gotta go up on the B road by the bio. My mom, sweetest one, me oh my own. Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the bio. Jumping line, coffee's fine, feeling gumbo. Good Lord, lady. For tonight, I'm going to see my shit. Scared the heck out of me. Pick a top, do for jar, and be gay. Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the bayou. Take it, Larry. Libido, fond to know the place is buzzing. Says Tibidex. Can folk come see Vaughn by the dozen? Dress in style, go hog wild, me oh my oh. Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the bio. Take it, jump a line, fuck his pine, really gumbo. For tonight I'm gonna see my cherry meal. Pick your tar, get up with jar, and be gay. Son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the bio. One more time, the son of a gun, we'll have big fun on the bio. We're gonna get to eat tortilla soup. I'm ready. Mucho ready. Sonny, this is tough. Granny, this is tougher. Sunlight. It cuts tough, baked on, caked on food, even grease. Ooh, thanks a lot, Sonny. Sunlight with lemon juice. It cuts the tough stuff loose. I like a day that's not cloudy and a tea that's not cloudy. That's why I like Louisiana. Louisiana's got special tea leaves that keep it clear as a bell all day. Now, if you're drinking Lipton or Tetley, look at the box. It tells you what to do when it turns cloudy. Louisiana says nothing about cloudy. Because it doesn't get cloudy. Ah, Louisiana, the one tea that's always clear as a bell. Want to know three great reasons to choose Wesson? Wesson vegetable, corn, and sunflower oil. Three all-natural ways to fry right. My fried chicken's got to be crispy and juicy, and my oil's got to be Wesson vegetable oil. What could be better, good food and the goodness of corn oil? Wesson corn oil. Eating light is right. And today's light dishes taste great with Wesson sunflower oil. Wesson vegetable, corn, and sunflower oil. With every bite, you know you're frying right. Hunts asked me how much I could squeeze into one commercial. Here goes. Hunts All Natural Barbecue Sauce has this new squeezable plastic bottle. So when you squeeze America's best tasting barbecue sauce on chicken or ribs or burgers, you don't waste a drop. There, I showed how good it tastes. I showed how squeezable it is. I forget anything. <laughs> it's shatterproof, right? Right. Hunts All Natural Barbecue Sauce. In a new plastic bottle. Hi, I'm Ralph Emery, inviting you to be a part of all the best country right here on TNN. We call it America's Country Home.
Hi, this is Sylvia, the country's outstanding here on TNN, the Nashville Network. Here is the moment of truth. We are going to taste Larry's tortilla soup. You can either, you know what the soup tastes like, mm -hmm. but, or you can have one of the, uh, the boys' I'll apple turnovers. Larry, while we're uh, tasting this, uh, oh, mm. this is great. Oh. I'm not kidding. I, I recommend this I'm totally. I'm going to the rest of that in there. I want to taste one of Jim and John's creations. Larry, I yep. want to ask you before we go. You've achieved fame, wealth, success. Um, what is the most important thing in your life right now? I want to uh, try to grow to be exactly what I think my maker wants me to be. Uh, I know I've screwed up a lot and made a lot of mistakes. I've got a great wife. But even now, I'm talking with my mouth full. That's something I probably shouldn't do. <laughs> but Don't you know, worry about all the things you shouldn't do. I've Enjoy got a lot of things I do want to do. And, and a lot of things you do right. And I, I appreciate that. I just want to do that and take care of my kids and my wife and sing music for people. That's all. And I want to eat these turnovers. Okay. He, well, he's eating those turnovers. I want to tell you folks, just write to me but right here, mm. Country Kitchen, 2806 Opryland Drive, Nashville, Tennessee, 37214. And please enclose a stamped, self-addressed envelope. Thank you so much. Mm. Thank you for coming. Larry, thank you. Bless you. Good to eat. Okay. Bye.